Princeton Consumer Research are a global product testing company. We have offices in the US and in the UK, and we have a global marketplace where we work for blue chip companies, medium sized companies, and smaller companies that are all trying to prove, first of all, is their product safe? Is it efficacious? Does it work? Does it do what it says on the tin? And then do people like it? Is it acceptable? Because it's all well and good having a nice fancy product that does lots of nice things, but if people don't like the look or the smell or the feel, then they won't buy it. So we cover those safety, efficacy and acceptability parameters. So in the RX Genesis study, we're using a number of instruments that, that definitively determine how moisturized the skin is, how much of a reduction in wrinkles and crow's feet that we have, how the luminosity of the skin has changed, how the elastic potential of the skin has changed, what people think about the skin, what the visual effects of the skin are, and also some great digital images that we can really look and see what's going on beneath the skin too. So great instrumental assessments on this study. What sets the RX Genesis apart for me that excites me about testing it is the, the stem cell element to that. And we all know, we all see on the news what stem cells can do, how they, they have the ability to, to almost regenerate, to form any type of cell that, that we ask them to, to form. So just purely that there's a stem cell element to the RX Genesis product excites me in terms of testing it. And we have all the creams we've tested. This is the one that I would personally like to try myself and one that I really think from what's in there should give us a very good efficacy effect. Mo most creams consist of um, something in there that drags moisture in the skin, the humectant, normally glycerine based. You look at, you look at the ingredient listing, go around the, the pharmacy aisle, pick up the ingredient listing and most have glycerine in there somewhere. The RX Genesis product has something more active in there than that. It has this, this, this stem cell element to it that, that for me excites me because I, I would, if anything, if any cream I tested I'd expect a, a, something from it, this would be the one that I'd expect to give me a good, a good efficacious response in terms of the anti-aging element. And to the study that we're doing for RX Genesis, there's one, what we call consumer perception element of that, where panelists will rate what they thought about the product. But that's only a very, very small element of the study. 90% of the study is based on trained visual assessments of people that are technicians that, that regularly assess skin for anti-aging and anti-wrinkle properties. But we have a plethora of instruments and what they give is quantifiable data. So you have percentage, magnitude, duration of effect that we can quantify. So we're not talking subjectively, we're talking objectively.